Welcome everybody. My name is Tillman from the creative consultancy Monsieur T. You might have seen me before. It's like already 10 years that we're working with uh, Bangladesh Denim Expo. And today I'm here to take you through the trends. The trends which you might have seen downstairs in the trend zone. And here I will give you some extra between the lines information. So, before we start actually with those four themes, I would like really to remind something. I don't know if you've noticed, but in the international fashion industry, denim has never been as hot as it is since about, let's say, 18 months. You see denim everywhere on all the catwalks, in dresses, in jackets, in everything. And when I go to the denim fairs, may it be in Amsterdam, in Munich, in New York, or here, I see out of all the fabrics presented, 99% of all the fabrics made for bottom. And I see an industry which is somehow choking and saying, oh, tough business, Ah, oh, nothing super, super new. Whereas in the fashion business, everyone is really claiming denim as being the most exciting fabric these days to have. So this is just one very personal heads up. Be prepared to think about beyond bottoms. Be prepared to not only sell five pockets in denim fabrics. So now that I've unleashed this one, um, we speak about the four trend themes. Computer world, simply young, grandpa core, tinted lover. It's going to be a quick one. If you need any additional information, feel free afterwards to come and see me. We start with computer world. You've seen it. Artificial intelligence is everywhere. And we really would like to emphasize the fact that it's not a question of being in fear of artificial intelligence. I don't know how much your designers are already using, like Midjourney, all these software app things where you can actually create things. And I think what is interesting in that is that I remember being a little younger skateboarding all the time and my professional skateboard friends when the first skateboarding games came in told me that while playing on the screen they actually learned tricks they thought would never be possible in real life and that is something I would like you guys to think about how much artificial intelligence can show us things which might maybe not possible in real life, but which your designers might make possible. Because most of the time when you look at artificial intelligence generated imagery, you see things which for a usual tailor or usual pattern maker feel like they're impossible to do. But maybe there is somehow a way of achieving things. One can see already how close artificial reality is with the actual reality of the catwalks. Once again, you see all these images, little five pocket is going on here, but a lot of denim, a lot of denim, no five pockets, no stretch jeans. This also reaches out to embroideries. See all these embroideries, nothing of this is real. It's all artificial intelligence generated. Just think about it. Your embellishments, your trims, your zippers, whatever. You can really, really think forward thanks to artificial intelligence. And we all know that already in the laser developments, we've got artificial intelligence software where you can just throw your shopping on the floor, take a picture, and the intelligence easily analyzes which kind of different steps in the laser work you've got to do to achieve the same looking 
genes. Well, we know it's not 100% perfect, but you know how it is with computers. If it's pretty good today, it might be more than perfect tomorrow. The second thing is called tinted love. It's about color, but it's not about PDF color. If you might have noticed that with all these, I'd say, bad news, geopolitical conflicts around the world, the younger generation is really under a different influence on how to withstand reality and how to live with what's going on in the world. So we've got on one side people really embracing bright colors, but especially in the denim industry, we have a lot of very dirty, fancy tints going on, as if Generation Z wants to change a bit the reality, wants to have a blue which doesn't really look like a blue. So in that theme, and you can see it downstairs in our trend area, the most important is that you actually start with a blue fabric, wash it down, and, so, and then somehow over dye it, over dye it in a very dystopian, very grungy way, or over dye it in a very bright way. Both ways are possible. We've seen like the biggest leaders like Diesel making a whole thing about how they do their dirty tints, and we see once again on the runways a lot of denim going on and a lot of denim in dirty tints. Once again, I'd love to see this kind of fabric somewhere in, in the show here. I'm not sure. I'm sure that I can find at least 2,500 similar fabrics for making a pair of stretch jeans, but I'm not sure if I can get anything to what right now is the biggest trend in denim since the last 20 years, denim in fashion. Now we come to the next one, Grand Parkour. There's a lot of saying about gender freedom, genderless, so we've been addressing all these things a lot about who, what's a man, what's a woman, do we make genes for men and women, and one important thing is the grandpa, the no age trend. No age because of two different reasons. Because we feel that the older people have something wise to tell us, something the youth doesn't really know yet. And so the younger generation looking for work, looking for a career somehow puts the older people really on a higher level like well, they've made their life, they have a lot of wisdom, and that is extremely important to us. And within this theme, crossing the fact that the older people now dress like the younger ones, which brings us to very crazy situations with older people dressing like kids. And, well, that's Ralph Lauren. He doesn't do it on purpose, but he isn't that young neither. Um, and we have that fabulous mix where we have a grandpa embracing a look of a youngster, and we have a little girl who dresses like a grandpa. And that is something extremely exciting. We feel you have to give it thought. Um, now we see it's a very clean story. We do not have a lot of denim images here, <clears throat> but that is where you set in and come with your ready-to-die shorts and jeans and chinos and dive into this trend of jeans and denims and products made for older generation, worn by the younger ones and the older ones. This drives me to our last theme, which we call Simply Young. Why do we call it Simply Young? Because Simply Young is something more seasonless, just going beyond seasons, because our industry, and when you look at it closely, our industry is quite old. Maybe not that much here in Bangladesh, but when you go in Europe, on America, to a denim fair, 
most of the time you see old people, me included, but usually in the fashion business, there should be like 20, 25, 30 year old people running around reinventing the business. How come that our dinner ministry is so old? And how come that the older, the grown up people have a different vision of what is cool or what should be supposed to be done? And that again, you know, remember just a few minutes ago we talked about the fact that denim is in fashion, but the industry provides mainly fabrics for stretch jeans. So isn't there something related between the fact that we're all a little older than actually the younger generation we try to address, the demographic we address? And when you look at it closely, you find out that there is one thing which keeps all the younger generations together, is that they can wear things which the older can't wear. The younger generation can show lots of skin, can have aggressive looks, which might look stupid on people like us, but which will look fabulously well on the younger ones. So, there is a lot of skin showing again and again. And whereas many of you might right now still develop baggy pants, there is a strong comeback to skinny pants. So everything goes fast. And think about the fact that the people who really dig denim and make something exciting with denim, they are out of your general focused window of how to make big money. But somehow we need that part of the demographic to have our industry going forward. We need those super punkish looks, we need those super big holes, we need those super distressed looks. See what Glenn Martin said uh, Diesel is doing these days. So there's lots of space to show your underwear, and not everyone can actually do that. And that is an important thing. There is much too many security-driven products right now in our industry. Risk taken is what will bring us forward. So again, just this freshness of younger generations of Again, see, all these things going on in the denim industry and which have nothing to do with five pocket jeans. What they have to do is about making girls look nice, showing a lot of skin and being in fashion. Being in fashion, not in a never out of stock denim business. So, a few more examples. And thank you very much. I wish you a very nice, a very nice afternoon. And I hand over to Blue Sign. Thank you very much.